All right, so you're looking at a geometric sequence and you want to find the common ratio. Quick example here. If you're given each term, 2, 2.2, 2, 2.42, 2.662, you just take one term and divide it by the previous term. Uh, so if I do uh, term 2 divided by term 1, that's going to be uh, 2.2 over 2, uh, which I already know is going to be 1.1. Now, I could have used any terms as long as one comes directly after the other. So uh, I guess I should probably put R. R equals term 2 over term 1 equals 2.2 over 2 equals 1.1. I could have done R equals term 3 over term 2. That's 2.42 over 2.2. And that's also going to equal 1.1. But more generally, the common ratio is equal to term n plus 1 over term n. Now that's very, very useful as long as you're told all of the terms, term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, or any sequence where you've got term 3 followed by term 4, or term x followed by term x plus 1, or term n followed by term n plus 1, but what if you didn't? Okay, so find the common ratio if term 1 is 18 and term 4 equals 144, um, and I should say of a geometric uh, I'll call it a geometric progression, a GP, or a GS, but a GP is usually what we say. Um, okay, find the common ratio of a GP if term 1 equals 18 and term 4 equals 144. Simple, we just use our formula here. We know that term uh, N equals A um, R to the N minus 1. And we just need to sub in some values here. So I know that term 1 equals 18. Um, and I know that uh, term n, which is term 4, is 144, and I'm multiplying that. So to find out term 4, this is term 4, I need to multiply it by the common ratio to the power of n minus 1, 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, so that's, uh, I can rearrange now by dividing by 18, 144 divided by 18, that's going to be r cubed, um, so that means that r cubed is now equal, oops, that means that r cubed is now equal to 8, and the cube root of 8 will be equal to r, so r is equal to 2. Alright, so I knew the first term, I knew the fourth term, and the I know that I need to raise the common uh, ratio to n minus 1. The fourth term was 4, so that's n minus 1, which is 3. Okay, two ways to find the common ratio. This one's fairly straightforward. This one takes a little bit of thinking.